React is a JavaScript framework for building user interfaces. It focuses solely on the view layer of your application, so you can use React by creating components that make up your overall view. We'll give our component a render method. Whatever's returned here will be the content of our component, so we create the HTML right inside our JavaScript. So let's return an h1, and within curly braces we can interpolate this.state.message. Where does that state value come from? Well, let's create another function called getInitialState. React expects this function to return an object with the initial state values for our component. After the component has mounted, we want to change the state value, so we'll create a function called ComponentDidMount and we'll use this function to add some new characters to our message. Now to actually change the component state, we need to use this.setState so that React will know to re-render the component. The last step is to actually initialize our component. We'll use React Render and give it the component we want to render and the element to put it in. Finally, you can see our React component in action.